Peace, everybody. Survival 101 FD back here with another form of the video dealing with disaster preparedness, safety training, and survival. So I know everyone's looking like, okay, what does this guy have going on this morning? Well, what I wanted to show everybody is a quick and easy way to make coffee if your electricity is down, power outages, whatever the case may be, you can still get your coffee, good coffee, and start your day the right way and get everything going so very simple it's not gonna be a long video it's gonna be a very relatively short video but I'm gonna try to make my point as clear and concise as I can so that everybody can understand what I'm doing so here you go you see I have my coffee okay this is one of one of our favorites and again you don't have to have a coffee machine to make this and you can still get good coffee without having to be having to use instant coffee so whether you have a Bunsen burner, Sternos, a hot plate, all you need is a pot, which I already made my coffee. Okay, that already has been boiled, and a strainer. Okay, which I've strained that. I have this cup, measuring cup, exactly one cup, and a what you see is a measuring spoon and this is let me see if this can just clear up so you can see that this is exactly one tablespoon I'm just trying to get that focus so everyone can see it's not trying to focus there we go tablespoon what you do is for every tablespoon of this coffee, every tablespoon, you're going to use one cup of water. Okay, this is how I do it. You can adjust it if you want it stronger, if you want it weaker. For every one tablespoon, you can do one and a half cups, two cups. Okay, you can do half a tablespoon for one cup. You can do two tablespoons for one cup. I use one tablespoon per cup you can use this pot obviously get a bigger pot if you want to make more a smaller pot if you want to make less okay and what you do is you add your cup your your you add your tablespoon the six tablespoons you add six cups okay six tablespoons of coffee six cups of water and you let it boil make sure you watch it it only takes about five minutes maybe six for it to actually completely come together. Once it's boiled, I take a pitcher, and this pitcher is solely used just for coffee. That's why I stain like that. And I use this strainer, okay, which I just got finished using. And I all I do is I pour the coffee into the strainer, into the pitcher, like so. Now, as you can see, this has been pretty much strained a lot this morning, so it's hardly anything left in there. And then I rinse my strainer, rinse my pot, pour the coffee back into the pot, and you keep doing it back and forth into the pot into the pitcher until your strainer has nothing left again very simple video it's not long but if you need to make coffee when the grid is down this is how you do it very simple peace